started uh, doing Kaizens in 1999, and uh, our very first Kaizen team was doing setup reduction on our molding machine. Uh, since that time, we've done about 500 Kaizen events, and, and still today, we're doing Kaizen events on setup reduction. Today we're going to uh, observe a mold change in an injection molding machine. There are countless benefits to implementing a, a, a setup reduction program. One is whip reduction. Um, if you reduce your setups to a very low number, you can then think about reducing your lot sizes, which is very beneficial when you're creating flow. Two, by reducing your setup times, you could be increasing the capacity of a known bottleneck. And that, is, that could be leveraged in an organization as well. Three is it supports the, the, the uh, mixed model environment, which is so crucial for companies that run very small lot sizes and very broad mix of product range. Um, four, it is a precondition to implementing a strong Kanban system, a pull system. We started with uh, about $3.6 million of work and process inventory in our facility. And um, today, almost nine years later, that number is uh, about $470,000. And during that time period, we have increased our business about 35, 40%. Uh, the key benefits to reducing setup time is uh, inventory reduction and ultimately on-time delivery. Over the years since 1999, um, we've done setup reduction events on, on many of our machines. Um, this particular machine that we're going to see today, uh, we've done about nine Kaizen events, um, full week Kaizen events, as well as uh, two-day point Kaizens. Um, and it's important for us, too, that once we do those Kaizen events, uh, to spread that knowledge and uh, take that knowledge and spread it to the other machines that are out there on the shop floor. Um, there was also some concern about if we do a changeover faster, was it going to be safe? And, um, and of course, we've proven that uh, that, that process is safer, uh, it's faster, and it allows us to, um, well, it really allows us to do two things. It allows us to link our processes together um, by actually linking assembly with molding, so the parts are flowing from molding to assembly, uh, one piece flow. Uh, where flow isn't possible, or we haven't figured out how to do flow yet, um, it, it enables us to um, implement a pull system, and the pull system links the two processes together, um, and that keeps our inventory uh, really low. Uh, we wouldn't be able to accomplish a one-piece flow or a pull system if we had long setups. So uh, reducing our setup time is really critical to achieving those objectives. Um, the consultants really give us a, a great perspective. You know, they've seen how other companies have done their, their changeovers. Um, they, they can kind of help us through the, the doubt of, you know, can, can we really do this? Is this really going to work for us? Um, they give us a, a, a very nice um, body of knowledge to, uh, to draw from. And they're also kind of our conscience. You know, it's easy to, to say, well, you know, a 15-minute changeover is good enough. And, and a consultant can say, no, I've seen these done in five minutes, you guys can do five minutes too. What, what you're ultimately doing as well is making smaller and smaller batches. And those smaller batches enable you to be more responsive to your customer requirements. Uh, when they place an order, you can do a quick change and, and produce exactly what they need when they need it. Time, two hours and 43 minutes, mold change. So these parts um, are made over in molding and they come over to the assembly area uh, via a Kanban signal. 
and um, that's our pull system. So when the customer, which is assembly, consumes these parts, um, there's a signal that goes to molding and they know to make more of these. Um, and that's one of the tools that we use to keep our inventory low and we're able to do that by having short setup times. So now after a few Kaizen events, we've, uh, we've implemented some things here. We've actually separated the externals and the internals. Externals are things you can do while the machine is still running. If, if you remember before Kaizen, we used to have to go and retrieve the die from the warehouse. Now we've staged the molds in front of the press, which are easier to locate and less travel distance. Before Kaizen, we used to disconnect individual water lines. Here you can see we're running off a manifold system where we have one supply and one return on each half. You can see it's much easier this way. What he'll do now is remove the bolts. Before you were removing clamps, now you're just removing bolts. You can notice on this mold, they, each mold has plates on it. And on the plates, all the molds are at the same die height. This, this reduces adjustment in the setup. We no longer have to adjust the die height because they're all at the same height. The safety bar has a slot in it, which it actually easily goes back on. When before, he had to remove bolts and put bolts on. By practicing Kaizen, we actually cut a mold change down from 2 hours and 43 minutes to 10 minutes and 49 seconds. You know, you've been able to see uh, the before setup technique, um, and, and we were able to see the after as well. And, and even that, that after, we're really proud of results like 10 minutes and 49 seconds. Um, but even with that, there's still a ton of opportunities. And I'm sure that we'll be doing Kaizen events, uh, setup reduction Kaizen events, uh, for the next nine years, and I'm sure nine years after that. So with all these benefits, there's there's improvement in throughput. There's a, a, a better on-time delivery to your customer. This is why companies really seek looking at SMED, single-minute exchange of dyes, and implementing that in their organizations.